goals and aspiration is. I mean, you know, getting back to the whole family tragedies, uh, you know, Tyler, you know, Tyler's funeral. He has so much love and support for family, friends, and a lot of the disability community, and that's that's what's up. Yeah, that that's cool. I'm gonna say it just like that. That's what's up. That was cool. You know. You know, keeping it real. Not, I would, you know, keeping it real. I wouldn't. It wouldn't bother me if well, the day I pass on, you know, if my whole ceremony ain't got nothing but disability, a whole disability parade. I'd be happy with. It. I'd be smiling in the heavens. Yeah, Eric's like, well, you got a problem with regular society. I do. I do got a problem with regular society. I do got, I do got a little bit of a pinched nerve for those who are non-disabled. And not towards every single person, but the majority of the percentage of non-disabled people. I always have a little nick against you guys. So, they're like, oh, you're prejudiced, you're racist. Oh, I ain't race, because this ain't about race. Because there's all different kind of race out of disability. Yeah. You know, I'm not a prejudice neither. I am a community activist, and my and think about me, okay? Yeah, I go against those who are non-disabled a lot of times because you guys don't get it. You guys go talk about family tragedies. You guys are non-disabled. You go to a funeral and you talk down about the person that that's laying, in, you know, unfortunately laying in the box. Yeah. No, you know us. We show love and support for each other, and it's heartbreaking to each and every one of us, whether you knew that person close or not. That's why I don't. That's why I have this thing against regular society, you know. But don't worry, I'm not gonna ever shut up. I want regular society to look at me like, eh, you guys are an angry person with disability. I'm not an angry person. We are not angry people. As Tyler has shown us anything from his passing, is that we will get around harder than you. I don't watch. Yeah. I watch my boy Tyler drive in bad weather you know i watch you go to school and all kind of weather you everybody's watching me do everything in all kind of weather and i've said this before but you got that person who is not disabled sitting at home yeah like pass me the nachos i mean won't even get off the couch I mean, I, I, and walk around and all he want to do is sit there and be lazy and talk about how his life could have been should have been when it's going to be right when all we wanted to do was get out in the community like Tyler was doing. I remember Tyler speeding on his chair all downtown. That's what, yeah, speaking of Tyler, you want to hear a funny story? In high school, and you know, a couple of my friends would know this. High school, I didn't have power electric chair. Always had the manual chair. And folks, let me tell you, we came up with a system on how to play getaway. We used to get away from security guards. I used to hold on to the arm of his chair and he'd be flying down the street and people used to think that it was a sidecar and that it was attached to his chair and it would really be just holding on to his chair and we'd be flying around the corner we we practiced so much and we literally practiced like if it was like you know trying to get ready for an event we right. rehearsed it all like an act we used to do it around the hallways in the high school and and, and you know sometimes we hit the wall and something was flipped over until we nailed down to a science where we could hit sharp turns and still hold me, still have me attached. Where what you do that is you hold on to his chair, you fly around, and then you kind of hold the left wheel or the right wheel, depending on what side you're on, to make sure the, the wheel kind of turns going with the chair. So right. we near the downtown science, we're in the middle of the street and we're flying down the street, and you're like, You got a sidecar attached to him? No, it's this man chair guy holding on, and it became like it became a thing, you know. And and going back to like stuff like that yeah. is what we do in this community. We're helping one another. I'm in a manual chair. You're in a power chair. You got the power. And I got the arm strength. You hold on. I can pull you. Right. People non society won't even hold the door for you. That are non disabled, they won't even hold the door for you. That is true. You know. But yeah, we figure out how to get around one another. You know. Uh, my, as you know, my ex girlfriend who was blind. You know, she could walk, but she could not see. I, I can't walk, but I can see. We went, we took an airplane together. Yeah. 
we took an airplane all together, folks. Literally, we got up, we we got in a taxi cab, we went down to New York, we we went to the the, the airport, and we got on there. And you're like, how do y'all do that? Well, easy, you know. She can hold on to the back of my chair. I can read the thing, and she can reach things. And we used each other's strength. Each other's weakness became the other one's strength. Right. You know, and that's what I'm talking about. That's the tag team that we have. Even me and you sitting here, uh, we have the tag thing. The tag team thing where, you know, you're stronger at things than I am, and I'm stronger at things than you are. Right. But instead of going against each other, like, oh, you want to be better than me, like everybody mostly does in society, we're like, no. Hey, you know what? I can work with you. Yeah. What do you think about teaming up with me to do this? Right. Right, because we understand that they are strength in numbers. And once again, our goal is to be just like how Tyler was to basically have those goals of overcoming and to achieve those goals. And we understand that sometimes working together – gets to us to that common goal right you know and even towards family tragedies as we talk about tonight sometimes with each other uh just being there for one another uh in a time like this helps the uh, helps you know go forward right showing that i'm here she's here we care each and every one of us care you know and and that's what that's how life should be but it's not. Unfortunately, you're right. You have so much hate. You have so much, for example, you have so much getting used, cheated on between the government, between uh, people, that you lose sight of that. Right. See, the disability community does not lose sight of that. People fail to realize that the disability community, we may not do everything that you do, but we see everything that you do. We see what the government has done. You think we don't, we spend more time sitting in front of that TV than, than people know. So when we're sitting here, you think we don't know that the government's sitting there lying about this and that? You think we don't know that you're lying to us about how you don't have money to help us? We know. Oh, we know. Right. Sometimes the things that stopped us is sometimes ourselves. Uh... Another thing, you know, sometimes our con uh, besides ourself, our confidence and the ability to get around. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's hard for some of us than others, you know. But that's why that's that was my whole goal of doing this TV show or why I do music is to let the world know, like I said all the time, that we have a voice and I will not rest in peace until people know that this movie community. Ain't no third piece. We ain't just some handicap sticker that you see when you park. So right. you can basically, oh, by the way, stop taking our handicap parking space if you ain't handicapped. Sick of it. Uh, but we are more than just a parking space. Okay? You're right. We are human beings, and we have a voice. All you're saying is right, dude. I mean, to bring it back to Tyler. And stop parking there. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it back to Tyler for a little bit. I mean, one thing I remember about Tyler is... He was very down to earth. Oh, he was very down to earth. He'd talk to you for hours. Oh, definitely. Tyler, uh, just like myself, loved to help out those like himself and those uh, who don't have all the abilities that we have. Uh, we, me and him both were always like, you know, willing to help them. He was, you know, he spent a lot of time with, you know, with those kind of people all the time. You know, Tyler would never, never leave you hanging, you know. No, he wouldn't. He would spend hours with you. If you got nothing to do, he'd hang out with you. He'd be like, you know, I ain't doing nothing. So, you know, we can kick it. You know, last summer we were, we were down here at the Cleveland Green. And yeah. I ran into him and we were just, you know, hanging out. You know, it was they had Spanish night and we were hanging out on Spanish night. I mean, I ran into him multiple times on the bus coming downtown going to school. You know, although we were never shy to tell our opinion. Yeah. I um, mean, we'll tell you how we feel. Trust me, we're right. very good at that. <laughs> you know, and we had good times, like like everybody else. You know, we party. You know, we did some things we shouldn't do. Uh, you know, we were young and stupid, <laughs> but always had that good heart and a good mindset.
to do the right thing yeah. towards other people. And I think, you know, that's something that from Tyler will be missed. I know I will miss that from him. Uh, and I know others will miss that from him as well. But while we're at it in the show, I also want to take this time out to uh, remind everybody that <clears throat> you could uh, follow us on on our YouTube page at Keeping It Real with David King. King. Thank you for the echo. <laughs> Go on. I mean, I also want to say I apologize. We haven't uploaded episodes in previous weeks, but we'll get back on that. We also got a Facebook page called Keeping It Real TV. And the Twitter page with uh, at 13 Keeping It Real. Uh, we also have a Gmail account, which is the Keeping It Real TV show. You can email us back for feedback and see us how we're doing and suggestions you guys want on the show. And what would you like to see more? Or what would you like to see less? Uh, you know, we're always up for ideas and opinions. And, you know, we, we always want to hear from you guys because without you guys, we, you know, we don't have a show. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this. Right. You know, you guys are the driving force behind this. And, you know, you know, so we really we really do honorable you guys, of, you know, giving us your opinion. You know, but, you know, Fred, we're coming close to the end tonight. Any thought, anything do you want to add or say? Or to all I mean, I know, I know the whole disabled community... Our, us included is going through a tough time right now and I just want to say I'm sorry about Tyler I feel bad same as you guys but I also want to give a shout out to my grandmother who's still in the hospital right now fighting you know hopefully she pulls through we'll see definitely and uh, you know, our prayers are with your grandmother as well for her to pull through and you know win the battle whatever she's battling with but before I end the show tonight I just want to say Tyler, I love you. We love you. And this is community. Uh, you know, may you rest in peace. You will be missed. Miss Brown, I'm sorry for your loss. And uh, Tyler, your sister as well. I love you guys. Thank you for inviting me in your homes for all the years I've known Tyler. The rest of you guys, be safe. And try to be there for one another because you never know when, you know, they're not, never going to be there again. With that said... I'm David King. I'm Fred Solberth. We love you guys. Thank you, and have a good night.